All right, uh, this is take uh, five because like uh, I got like two minutes to wait through this video and I, re I realized we weren't recording. I hit record and for some reason stopped recording. So like, uh, let's go again. So pretty much, uh, I found this video here and it's probably like one of the dumbest like Kingdom Hearts takes I've ever seen or like pretty much like one of the dumbest gaming takes ever like watched in my life. It's uh, really dumb. It's kind of like uh, what you should not do when uh, critiquing a game or talking about a uh, woke culture. Exactly. For lack of a better word. Yeah, for lack of a better word. And I should preface this video by saying, like, I, I am against game censorship and, uh, kind of, uh, games, like, retroactively, ch retroactively, like, changing their, like, old shit and, uh, being, like, uh, pretty much, like, putting preachiness over, like, gameplay, but, like, kind of the term woke has become, like, this, like, meaningless buzzword at this point. Here's my, yeah, it's like, I, I don't like what the fuck they did, you know, Square's weird-ass censorship in Final Fantasy VIII. Yeah, like, changing. Like, that was fucking weird. Like changing, like clo get, adding more clothes to Siren. It's like, bro, she's like a creature. She's and like, like changing, like Renoa or some shit, but that Shiva's fucking fine. It's, yeah, it's kind of weird. Anyway, uh, let's uh, respond to the video here. Uh, break it down bit by yeah. bit. It's like, cause that's how we roll here. That's how we do. Phoenix have announced that they are developing Kingdom Hearts Four. They released a trailer and everything. And uh, I gotta say, the trailer looks pretty good. Um, the game looks decent. I like, I like where they're going with with the more. I'm gonna put this at 1.5 speed because, like, I was listening to a 1.25 1. speed uh, last time. It's a I little get... too slow. Yeah, like, uh, pretty much he like starts filleting the game, the game series, like right off the bat, which is kind of weird for a video called like why you shouldn't buy Kingdom Hearts 4. He doesn't really get to the point until about two minutes in, but he starts off with, "Oh, I like Kingdom Hearts. I like the way it looks." It's okay to like uh, kind of like have like an introduction and like meander a bit, but like here's the thing: is like this video is a. Uh, Seven minutes and fifty-one seconds long. Like, uh, you shouldn't have two minutes of a seven-minute video or eight-minute video talking about like, uh, kind of setting things up. You should maybe, I don't know, like get the point in like thirty seconds. Just yeah, so. like rule rule of thumb. I mean, maybe he's just you know fucking talking this out of his you know like off his ass off the cuff. But like, it was like a, they could have you know like kind of shortened it a teeny bit. If it was like a twenty-minute long video, then okay, two minutes is fine. But like eight minutes, come on. Yeah. More realistic looking Sora. Uh, I think that's pretty cool. I really, I really do. Uh, but I'm not here to talk about how good the game looks, because the game's gonna look good regardless, alright? I'm not here to talk, I'm not here to talk about, like, how good the game looks. The game's gonna look good, uh. This is a, yeah. this is a triple A game, where Square Enix is throwing millions upon millions of dollars off Yeah, we know. Of and they know, they know they're going to make yeah, I know. money off of this game. Sony knows, Kid I know. knows, everybody I know. knows. Everybody knows, yeah, we know, we know. And buy this game. But again, this is not what this video is about. The video is about why you should not be supporting. Everyone's gonna buy it, but here's why you shouldn't. Yeah, he's like, uh, I'm not telling you what to do with your money, but it's like, why you shouldn't buy it. It's like, bro, like, yeah. uh, in the comment section, too, he says, like, this is not a boycott. It's like, uh, like you don't know what a boycott is. Like, boycotting means, like, you're not going to buy something because, like, uh, you want the company to, ch to change something. That's like, uh, that's the peak uh, definition of boycott, my dude. I don't think people know what the fuck boycott means. <laughs> also, like, uh, why you can draw better than I can, like, uh, I feel like you should hire an artist, not use, like, an MS Paint drawing yourself. Like, uh, my, uh, my avatar costs, like, 20 bucks. Uh, this, so, like, uh, actually, this overlay costs, like, 20 bucks as well. <laughs> like, uh, you can buy shit for cheap if you if you look pretty well. Look pretty I, far. I, I was just trying to... Before we get to that conversation, please, like and subscribe to this video. I don't think I will. Down below. No, thanks. So you're why shouldn't I support Kingdom Hearts 4? I play Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, 3, Dream Drop Distance, the mobile game, the card game, and all that stuff, right? <clears throat> I love Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, if you play all the games, like, why, sh why shouldn't you play the next game if you like all the other games? Yeah, that's what I don't fucking understand. It's like, I, I play all these, but I'm not gonna play that. I'm like, I'm sorry, usually most people that do all that usually are Kingdom Hearts fans that are grabbed by the balls. Yeah, by like, series, uh, so... I've been in, in the series for like 20 years. I'm not gonna stop now because, like, uh, some guy with a mess paint drawing himself holding a Pac-Man sword with a Superman cape uh, tells me, like, otherwise. Oh, he has a fucking Pac-Man sword? That's kind of cool. It looks like Pac-Man there. It does look like Pac-Man. It's mostly going out to the people who want change in the gaming community, in the the whole uh, the entertainment sphere. You know, this is for those guys, right? If you don't. Once again, I I am like uh, against like you know like uh, game censorship and whatnot, but that's all like all or nothing thing is stupid to me. Like, oh oh, because like a uh, game has like one like questionable thing, you can no longer like buy or support the company, and I don't know. It just seems kind of a oh, much of an overreach to me like obviously like if ps4 censors a game i'll try to like buy the game on pc or something or yeah. like uh if the censorship is like too egregious i wasn't buy the game at all but like here's the thing is like 
this whole video is based upon like, uh, oh, they're going to censor Kingdom Hearts 4. It's like, bro, there's no proof of that yet. <laughs> there's yeah, no evidence. Yeah, that's the thing is that like, we, we've only gotten like one trailer and some gameplay. You do not know if they're going to go censor this game at all. Once again, like, a, you're either for me or against me, then just like a fucking black and white bullshit. Also, may I ask that... I, I do not want to tell people what to do with their money. If, if, regardless of how you feel about what's going on in this current climate of media... I guess I don't, you shouldn't support Square while he's, like, streaming Kingdom Hearts 1, apparently. Like, that's I, what's so funny about it. That's my favorite part of this. I don't know if this is his Switch or not, but he's like, this is clearly, like, a stream of the game because it's all yeah. like the on-air thing. Yeah, it, it's clearly a rip... Oh, no, 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 no. The, the, my favorite part about this is it's a fucking... It's a fucking rip. It's fucking streaming this game on a ps4 because that that on-air thing that's a ps4 thing so it's like oh yeah don't support this don't support that if you continue to use it it's like uh, y'all don't know what the fuck boycott fucking means again i could be critical of sony while still having a ps5 it's right over there like uh i like uh i like my ps5 i, I like a you know like god of war and shit but uh again like it's kind of a mixed bag in my opinion yeah and uh yeah yeah it doesn't mean like an either or uh it just kind of got kind of the all or nothing thing like i don't know like boycotting a bunch of like uh stuff because you don't agree with every single thing just seems kind of a uh, lame to me i don't know my issue is that it's just kind of here we go Sony, disney and square enix are doing in terms of media I'm against that. Uh, they're, they're pushing certain agendas, certain ideologies. And like what? Uh, again, I hate this vague shit like they're pushing agendas and ideologies. Like what? Uh, I'm sorry. When has Kingdom Hearts ever been like woke? It's, it's a game series about like, you know, light versus darkness and has like a story like it's way overly complex. Here's uh, my thing. If Kingdom Hearts wanted to be woke, as these people call it, they would have confirmed Sora and Riku are gay. Oh yeah, years fucking year. Years of fucking there, there is so much like attention between those two. Like yeah, it's like I, I'm sorry if they wanted to. As I'm using woke as how the people go and use the term here. If they wanted that, which I mean it isn't, they probably would have you know just made Sora Riku gay. Also, Disney's like peak uh, both sides because yeah because like uh, they'll like take out gay scenes depending on the yeah, country. They and, take like, out gay characters. But they'll try to like virtue signal a little bit. So like. People act like Disney swings on like far left when they're kind of just like uh, playing all sides, pretty much. Pretty much, because they 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 want money. On games or movies or whatever. And I'm pretty sure they're focusing on games, uh, because like Final Fantasy VII remake and Kingdom Hearts are still pure gameplay for the most part. Movies. Well, he said Sony, so like. Oh, Sony. Sure. They're censor. What's there to censor in Kingdom Hearts? This game is like rated E10. It's like. Pretty tame. There's like no blood except for you know like uh cutting the hand and like the Pirates of the Caribbean. There's like yeah. There's. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can see Thor come out with like a buzz cut, like half shaved head, uh, talking about like the patriarchy. Yeah, it's not gonna happen, okay? Wokeify, and this is that is something I personally do not want. <laughs> like there is no Kingdom Hearts is clean. It's a clean game. Like come on. It's a sexualized characters maybe it's because like roll 34 is kind of like ruin people's perception of the game like you, you just see kingdom hearts art and it's just, like sword and riku like banging each other or like or, you uh, know Aqua like Aqua getting, getting tentacle raped by the heart of this but yeah like, what it's pretty clean it's game. a pretty clean series like i don't even know if they even use the words damn or hell in it they might like in like the later games but i think it's literally maybe once or, i like probably i on like one hand they do it the only time they ever said like pal was like in the original chain of memories like axel said that, like it's gonna be one hell of a show and they censored that for the uh ps2 version yeah so, so there's some censorship but that was like 15 years ago because like rechain of memories came on like what 2007 i think i don't want a woke game i don't want a game <laughs> to be developed to please a woke audience Again, like, there's not going to be, like, non-binary characters in Kingdom Hearts 4. Like, calm down. Yeah, no, no. You already alienated me. So those got some people. The people who... You already alienated me as he's playing the games. Yeah. Who constantly are arguing against uh, the wokeness of whatever medium. All right, but yet still buy the game. You argue, you don't like woke. You don't like a game that's woke. You don't like a game that's censored. Then why would you continue to buy this game? Why would you... Uh... Where's the proof that Kingdom Hearts 4 is going to be, like, woke and censored? Yeah, where's the proof? Like... Show us proof. Uh, what, what's... Okay, if I see proof, I'll make my decision then, but I... I haven't seen, you know, any proof of either of those two things happening. I'll retract this video if, like, if, like, uh, you know, it's revealed that, uh, I don't know, like, Sora gets 
accused of mansplaining by Kyrie or something, I'll maybe like revoke this video. Like, the yeah, yeah, no, no, no. If if Kyrie says, you know, oh, mansplaining, oh, like you know, fucking like weird sexist bullshit. Sure, <laughs> sure. That would like, be like kind of funny, actually. It, I, I would actually probably laugh, honestly. Like, I'd be like so ridiculous, I wouldn't even like offensive or, or anything. Or they <laughs> call him like gamergate creeps or some shit. Yeah, like. <gasps> If I hear Kyrie say Gamergate creeps, then fine. He, I'll retract it. Kingdom Hearts, like, uh, Forrest going to have, like, a Gamergate world. Uh, <laughs> boss is going to be 4 itself. Like, the big, like, anonymous man with a green face is going to be, like, the final boss. You need to support the companies that support the woke agenda, these woke ideologies, this censorship of games. You shouldn't support them. You should not give them your money. That's why I'm not buying it. I didn't even buy Kingdom Hearts 3, but that was from a completely, completely different... Hey, there's Goofy. Uh, hey, there's Goofy Gorge. Uh... uh by, by Goofy, I mean him, not in this, but that's Goofy from Disney. Uh. All right. And if you're wondering, well, Square Enix is not going woke. Square Enix is going woke. All right, I have a video about their whole ethics apart. Ethics. Okay, the ethics apart thing is kind of, like, weird, I gotta admit. Like, yeah. I've heard different things. I've heard that, uh, you know, like, I've heard they're just trying to keep the the game a consistent rating throughout, like, the the world or whatnot. I've heard different things about the ethics department. Uh. So I'll, I'll give you that one. It's kind of a... It's like, yeah. yeah. Maybe, maybe you shouldn't have a department, like, uh, dedicated to, like, offending people. Not offending, like, everybody, because you're going to offend somebody. Exactly. Like, you know, yeah, I, I definitely agree with that point. That, you know... They're, they're so weird about the ethics department shit. Here's I will the, give that one. Here's the thing. is like, uh, a lot of people, like, uh, use that to criticize Final Fantasy VII Remake, but they actually have not played Final Fantasy VII Remake, which we'll see in a second. Department. In fact, you can probably find out a lot about their ethics department, not just from me, but from other YouTubers who probably covered this. Yeah. Okay. They, their ethics department is Square Enix. They are implementing censorship and wokeism from the start of the game. Not. Are the game like a what? What does that mean? I don't know. Wokeism. Again, like there, there is the criticism of the ethics department, but like just saying it's like woke without elaborating why is just kind of a uh, like not good. There is legitimate issues, like I brought up earlier, like Siren, like Renoa. I mean, there, there's, it, there's some weird shit going on with like a few things, but they like, the games. like from the start, from the ground up, they're there, they're there from the very beginning, and supporting them, us giving them, uh, us giving them our money, would just uh, incentivize, incentivize that a bad word, it would just embolden them. To incentivize is the word. <laughs> incentivize is correct. To continue making the games how they want to make them <clears throat> over there in Japan. It's already bad enough that Japanese games, particularly those of the anime variety are being censored for, uh, over there at Sony because of the bullshit over here in the West, because of the woke ideology, the woke propaganda. Again, I am, like, uh, against that. But here's the thing, it's like... <sighs> it kind of feels like... Honestly, you kind of criticize them for being a little bit, like, xenophobic. Like, uh, yeah. kind of the opposite of woke, because, like, it's only, like, anime games are get censored. So. Yeah, it, it's kind of not necessarily woke. It's more xenophobia. I, I feel like way. there's a... People are kind of ex showing off their xenophobia, like uh, while claiming it's like, oh, we're just go we're just trying to censor these characters because you know, blah blah blah, yeah, kids or something. Fucking, dude, just admit you're fucking racist and go. <laughs> See, there's, there's common there's common ground, but like yeah. the thing is, like, I just feel like this is an empty take. <laughs> yeah, there's like nothing here. There's 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 some good points here. There are some, you know, I agree with you, but there's also a lot of things where I go, I think you're a little jumping the shark a little too early with this because we have one. Tr I almost put two fingers up. We got one trailer. We got one gameplay. So two. Yeah, I got two things there. Cool. And we need to make it. We need to try to make it stop in some in some aspect. So I'm like, like a, like the uh, hundred people are gonna like boycott this game. It's not gonna like a uh, change him. I'm sorry. Unfortunately, uh, like, don't, don't it's not gonna do that. Who gives a fuck if 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 Sora is. Who gives a fuck if Sora's super realistic or whatever? Who gives a fuck if Sora's? You realize that like uh, he's realistic because he's in like the real world. Like yeah, uh, like if, if you actually if you actually played the fucking games and went through all the fucking lore, there's a reason why the fuck Sora looks realistic. And also, Sora's face is really weird. Yeah, and Sora's face. Like laughing at the hp bar in the corner because I, I forgot how animated not, it looks not even hp bar just his model here yeah his model looks his looks model like, is curved looks like a buzz light here but on. i also just like when he looks angry when he gets hit Whatever. no one cares because okay? the game is probably going to be good in, form, in, in terms of gameplay all right but okay but but game, i guarantee you it's going to have some woke some wokeism in it <laughs> like what <laughs> kingdom hearts kingdom hearts like I, I, i'm trying to think like Again, Kyra's probably gonna push to the side, like, uh, there's not gonna be, like, 
they're not gonna like ship Sora and Riku or anything. Uh, they're probably gonna honestly put him with that Strohliza girl. They're probably gonna figure out some sort of like you know kind of lean it towards that. And Kyrie's still not gonna be useful in the first place. In some shape and form, some will give them, and it's probably not gonna be good. You know, it's probably not gonna be good. It's probably gonna take you out. Remember. Okay, first of all, you're like, it's gonna be a good game. Then now you're like, it's not gonna be a good game. Final Fantasy VII Remake, how they made certain changes in that game, and to where. Okay, Remake's kind of weird because like uh, they kind of like gave Tifa like an extra bra and like uh. Her tits are kind of a weird situation because, like, uh, obviously Seven is like her tits are a weird way, way bigger, or, way bigger in the original Seven, but also she's like a polygon model. But like her tits are in Seven Remake are bigger than they were in like I don't know, like Avon Children or those other remakes, like they're or, so other like big. fan universes of Final Fantasy Seven. Uh, also what's weird is like uh, yeah, he, he admits he hasn't played the game, which uh, it's kind of funny because like you know what? Here's the thing: Final Fantasy Seven like remake is still like horny as fuck, man. For example, yeah. uh. You can choose like a sporty outfit for Tifa and has like a huge like boob window. Uh, she is still she still has like that, that skimpy ass like a uh, cowgirl outfit in the Nibelheim flashback. And mind you, she's supposed to be like fifteen that, in that scene. So yeah. Uh, so they, they haven't changed. They didn't censor Yuffie's outfit. She still got her pants unbuttoned. Yeah, she still she still got her pants unbuttoned. Still got her little tummy out. They made a uh, Jesse like really a really horny character. Uh, and they made Scarlet fucking hot. Yeah, they made Scarlet like they gave her like humongous titties. So that's kind of the and opposite like, of what they, they also kept the men very attractive as well. Like I mean, you, you know, Cloud, Sephiroth, Rufus Shinra. Uh -huh. Like you know, they also made uh, Biggs attractive as well also like scarlet uses like soldiers like foot soldiers like yeah man, there's like, like so much fetish fuel in the there's game, a man. lot of fetish fuel and there's a lot of people that you know kind of push you know the tifa and Aerith, you know so. are gay or you know kind of you know like the poly poly you know like oh yeah he's totally fucking both of them you know sort of thing it's like they kind of they kind of you know kind of have a lot of the horny sort of shit going on there so, like, people who are like criticizing seven and remake i i please just play the game first like because there is criticism about the ethics department shit but like People are, ha have, like, heard things, like, third th third hand, pretty much, and, like, uh, are repeating them about the 7 remake. Like, if you don't want to give money to support Square, just, like, I don't know, rent the game or something. Exactly. Like, uh, there, there, there's a still video of the game real source around, right? Or buy the game used or something, I don't know. Yeah, that's like... Now there's, like, wokeism in that game, the, the, what is that, the, um... Oh crap, forgetting the name. The honeybee um portion of the game where uh, this part is real. This part like, may be fucking no, no no no, this part is like really cringe, like uh like let's say here. <laughs> he haven't played the game. Uh here's the thing, it's like I don't know, like I think I feel like the honeybee bee and sit the honeybee and see in that game is kinda of an example of like uh a message done right because like it's not really like shoving into your face about like uh, oh I have a non-binary uh, asexual you know it's not like that it's just like a uh, dude sings a catchy song about like being yourself and like there it's not really like shoving into your face or anything it's pretty pretty pleasant actually uh, I, mean, I like that scene yes it's uh, I like that scene so like I kind of get like a uh, some some people will be upset about censoring some stuff in the honey game but like there's a lot in like a uh, the original seven that would not like really fly today, like like the whole like uh cloud game, the hot tub with a bunch of gay guys, and they kind of molest them. And <laughs> there, there's, there's a there's a the couple line, there's a line that that Tifa says in this in the staircase, yeah. which we're not gonna report say here because I don't want this video to possibly go get yeah, taken exactly. down. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, like uh, honey bee, there's it's still like really fun. Uh, it's still fun. It's still cute. I liked it. And Cloud looks hot as a girl, so. Yeah, I'm like, he's still attractive as a girl. And... Alright, remember that scene? That's wokeism! It was told... That's wokeism! Uh, I... Remember that scene that of uh, the game I haven't played? There's a lot of shit that was in the original game, like yeah. the, uh, like the ghost chasing you, or like, like the fact everything. That it's not a fucking remake, it's a fucking reboot. Uh, Pretty yeah, much. like, uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake's kind of weird because it's pretty much like a like a rebuild of the world. Kind yeah, it's of, basically uh, like a rebuild of Evangelion, but for Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, pretty much. Bullshit. It's Cloud dressing up as a girl. That was in the game, but you didn't need a, a, a message. The message of, oh, we gotta respect gay people. Gay people are people too. I know. Uh, there's, there's no, uh, you gotta respect gay people on Seven. Uh, <laughs> there's no message of that. Yeah, like, uh, for, for the part of seven, 7, where, like, uh, Cloud gets scolded by somebody being like, you must respect gay people, Cloud, you're being homophobic. Yeah. Check privilege, like. Check your, check your cis white male privilege. I know gay people are people, and I don't care. I know gay people are people. All living in the same world that we live in. Just fucked up, horrible lives, and the rich is getting richer, and the poor is getting poor. Uh, <laughs> don't get it's over the edge there, it's like. 
oh yeah, like uh, we should we shouldn't like respect gay people because we all we all live in a society and uh, everything's going to shit. It's like okay, uh, I don't know. With today's political climate, there's a lot of shit happening to like gay people. So maybe like a little bit of reassurance is good. I'm not really saying that like uh, a gay needs to be be over the head with it, but seven doesn't really do that. Like so. they're they're not calling they're not saying bigot sandwiches. Like, you know, you don't have, like, you know, one of them being, you know, like, going to the cloud and be like, hey, go have your bigot sandwiches or else come up here. They're not fucking saying that, okay? This isn't, you know, The Last of Us 2's bigot sandwiches. This was just a, kind of a cute little scene. I, I, I don't have any problems with it. There's no fucking difference from the rest of us. I don't need you guys to preach in my face. That I got respect for these motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just say you're homophobic and go. Yeah, I'm like, bro, just say you're homophobic. Uh. <laughs> Uh, God. He's just kind of mask off homophobia at this point. <laughs> like he's, he's trying to like hide it, but it's like, I don't know, like what he says is a little bit like head scratchy. Uh, yeah, that's how I feel in it. But again, like Seven doesn't preach about gayness. And, no! Like, Nobody Kingdom Hearts 4 is not going to preach about gayness either. Honestly, if like uh, Sora and Riku like kiss or something, I was like, hey, yeah, we're gay, what if it? I'd actually like applaud that scene. Go. I would actually be, be pretty impressed because I'm like, well, that's definitely going to get taken out of, like, you know, internet. Poster of Sora Riku kissing back there. Uh... <laughs> I know. <laughs> I realized that. I realized that. I'm, I'm like, sorry. Hey. Sword Riku got, like, so much chemistry compared to, like, Kairi. Kairi's just, like, there and, like... <laughs> I, I, remember the whole like, scene in two of, like, Sora... <laughs> Like Sora, like, like it's like rocking his Riku and like hugging, <laughs> hugging like Riku and like... Misty and then Kari. Hi Kari. Yeah, hi Kari. Or anything like that. <sighs> no love. Look, don't support Final Fantasy. Don't support Square Enix. Don't support Sony. Don't support Disney if you are against wokeism. If you are against <laughs> um the censorship. Don't support indie. Go support games that are not woke. As you continue to play not, Kingdom Hearts One. Uh, I agree you can support indie games, but also I'm still playing Kingdom Hearts Four. Anyway, yeah. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Are you excited for Kingdom Hearts 4? I probably will buy the game second hand. I probably would not be getting not probably. I, I will probably buy the game, but not second hand. And I, I do not I probably buy the game but not second hand, then you buy it first hand, which uh Bro, 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 that makes no sense. You said go buy it, now you're saying don't go buy it, now you're saying I'm gonna go buy it not second hand. Like make, make up your mind. My money. Uh I, I've been stopped giving freedom for eating my money. Uh I only screwed up once when I bought the the, the Kingdom Hearts uh collection one and two. But other than that, I would never buy their games again. I would have to get the game free or or buy it from like a pawn shop or used or whatever. Okay. Uh, but anyway, what do you guys think? Are you excited for this Kingdom Hearts 4? Uh, do you agree with what I'm saying? Do you don't agree? Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video. Again, no thanks. <laughs> Again, no thanks. <laughs> oh, God. Let's see the comments here. No thanks. I love Kingdom Hearts. I just don't buy the games anymore, really. So regardless, I'm not buying Kingdom Hearts 4. I just have way too many ideas uh, where I want to make my own videos now. Actually, what? Okay. Uh... I, I can strongly understand what you're trying to say, bro. You didn't say anything, though. So, uh... I, I I feel like he played, like, both sides of that, where he said, don't buy it. Buy it. Don't buy it. Buy it. Like I, I get people commenting, like, I'm not a Kingdom Hearts anyway. It's like, why are you watching the video, then? Because they probably follow him, they probably watch his streams, and they're like, oh, I'm gonna go watch his video. I never play Kingdom Hearts, but sad, sad, and now we need to calm it down with woke stuff and throw it on the trap. What? What are you talking about? Y'all are perpetually stuck in 2016. Oh my god, uh... <laughs> okay, good to know, thank you. Okay, uh, what? Somebody is really gonna base their decisions on buying this game on this video. That's kinda sad. That's really sad. I will I stand by- I stand by Ruby King and we'll be with you in the boycott. I won't call it a boycott, oh my god. It's like, man. But yeah, like, uh... I don't know. It's kind of hard to be, like, kind of against censorship and, like bad uh depictions of gay people when you have like this guy talking to your face about like uh, oh my god the honeybee seeds woke it's like no it's really not it's really not uh, and like my whole thing is is that does square have issues yes it fucking does between their weird fucking like obsession with getting into the blockchain and nfts which is a whole nother can of worms their ethics department some of the very weird censorship and a few of their remasters which i will go and give them that point is that there's some weird shit but Here's the thing, KH4 is, like, in development. There's nothing that's no, come no. forward and said, oh, yeah, by the way, you know, Kyrie's gonna tell, you know, Sora to go eat a bigot sandwich or any of that shit. So it's like, before, I, I'm gonna just stay, just fucking wait for more information. Before I go, though, I just want to say that, uh, there is, like, no game company that, like, is perfect. Like, a lot of people still make bad decisions. If they haven't done so already, they will then get bigger or, yep. like... The, they may have messages you don't agree with. That's okay. It's just like, uh, enjoy the art. I don't know. Yeah. 
And uh, stop being, I guess, so reactionary of a game that hasn't came out come out yet. Yeah, it only has like one trailer. And, it's like, like... The trailer is pretty milk toast. Like a uh, not in the bad way, just like it, 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 there's no woke agenda. Like, come on. Like I, I haven't seen anything as of yet. It may change this if something changes, but for now. All right. Uh, give it a second. I feel like that's a video. Yeah. See ya. Bye.